Good evening, everybody, or good morning, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, this will be my first attempt to go through these intraday trades. If you, any of you are in the Retire on Dividends Discord, <laughs> you can see that I've been having uh, some issues trying to get my spreadsheet set up and make sure I'm understanding the correct uh, the synthetics and weeklies and the, the types with the Bs and the Ss and the Bcs and the, the buy or the S and and all of that. Um, so anyway, all of that stuff's a little crazy. I think I have my spreadsheet set up now. So all of this uh, should be good to go. So just to orient you to this sheet, this is my intraday trade sheet. Uh, all this data pulls from the Yield Max's website. So on the left-hand column, I just have um, the ETF stock with the current price, which would be as of the close today which is February 20th. And then the next one would be the actual underlying stock, same thing, the price as of today's close. And then the trade cost is just the total cost of the trades made for this day, which is it um, may or may not be relevant and nobody, people may not, may or may not care. But either way, um, I just have that information on the side, but of course the, the information in the white cells is the stuff uh, for the intraday trades. And I've tried to dumb this down for myself. Um, maybe if there's some others out there like me, uh, that all of this is a little confusing because you don't normally, you know, don't normally deal with options and stuff. Um, I've tried to put these things in here so you can see we have if it's synthetic or weekly, uh, just spelled out call or put. And then I know we have the types with the B's and the S's and stuff, but I just went ahead just to try to make it easy uh, and did the sold or bought columns and the open or closed. Um, again, I dumbed this down. It was really more for me, but hopefully it would help others um, that need <laughs> that additional help like I do. Um, but anyway, so I will tell you, I haven't actually looked through these yet. I did change some of my formulas today, so hopefully we'll be okay. Um, I did look at the first one, so I guess I just lied. I looked through this first one, A-I-Y-Y, and I was looking because the first one, I just, I knew off the top of my head that that was just them adding to the synthetic they already had. So you hear, see here the first two lines, we have the synthetic, we have our call put, uh, which is still the March 15th, which is what it has been. Uh, and we're opening those positions in 200 contracts with the total cost over there of those. But if we go over to the holdings tab, uh, we can see that those synthetics, we already had those there for the 30 and 30, which actually, um, these is, this is actually today's. And then I had forgotten to... Um, save the holdings this morning and they've already changed over but i can go back to the 16th because it would be the same thing from the weekend um and also we had it on the video this morning but you see they already had the synthetics here the 30 and the 30 and then they had the strike at 31 dollars um, for this week they just had that one but if we go over to the intraday trades we can see that they opened up um what is it, 200 shares here at $29. So now you'll see here for today's, uh, the end of day and today's, tomorrow's holdings here, we have that, uh, still have that 31 strike here, and now we have that extra 29 strike in there. Uh, again, this is a small number if you look at the 200 compared to the 6,000 there. So our main strike is still really that 31 max. Um, but that's a new one there. And then if we go down to AMD, and again, I haven't looked at these, but uh, we have the 180 there, synthetic, those first two lines at 210 contracts. I do believe that is them just adding. Let me go back to an older date just to make sure. Yeah, so we already had that 180, so that's just them adding to it. However, if we look at the, and I know I'm going back and forth and I hope this doesn't confuse, but I was trying to show how these two go together and, and, and being able to see the changes there. Um, but you can see here that they opened up a weekly call at $175 for 210 contracts. And so if we go over to the previous here, and look, my 
short-term memory. I have already forgot what the strike price was. Was it 175? So yeah, that's gonna be a brand new one. So that's actually gonna be a lower one here because uh, 175 added makes that 180. So that's a brand new one. So we, but we can see all of them added there. We don't have a lot of these to go through. Thank goodness. I know I'm swapping around. Um, so we go on down and then Meta, Facebook, or uh, FBY. So we have the 480 synthetic call put there. It's just 35 contracts, so it's not much there. Uh, but what was that? It always moves on me. Um, and then they had the 480 for weekly call as well. So they're all 480s there. And if we go over to our previous data for Facebook. So we had, okay, yeah, if we look here, we had that 480. You can see, I know I'm not, I should probably click. You don't see me pointing at them on a spreadsheet. But I have the, there's those two 480s for the synthetics. And then we also had the 480 also here. Um, I guess it would be better if I did that. So they're just adding to that one. And then let's see. So that was Meta. So then the next one that we have some trades on here is uh, JP Morgan. So we have 180, we have two synthetics, your call put, 180, and we're only looking at 20 contracts there. Um, and then we have a weekly call there of 182.50 for 20. So let's go over here. Oh, that one didn't move. 182.50, so yeah, they just added to one that they already had there, so nothing really new. So we go back over. I'm sorry that this thing keeps scrolling all the way to the top. Okay, so we have Nephli here. Again, synthetic, first two lines, 25 contracts at 585. And then we have a weekly call there at 585. And they're all 25, so they're probably, um, Probably just adding to something they already had. I'm just going to scroll down to see if we had any more here for the day. Because I don't think we do. Yeah. So that's actually our last intraday trade. Uh, but we'll go look. It was Nephli at 585. So I go over here. Find my Nephli. So here... Okay, so this one's actually a little bit different because we had the 585 strikes for the synthetics, but we only had one call at 605 previously. So we look over here at today's holdings. Don't look, it's going to make you dizzy. Okay, so we have the Nifli here, yep, and you can see that new one there at that 585 for those 25 contracts. So we have a few new ones, uh, not really a lot of volume changes there though. Close your eyes if this makes you sick. I'm going to scroll back up to the top. Okay, so we're at the top just to quickly go over these um, in case you haven't looked them all up or just wanted to see where we were for the next day. We have AIYY at 1654. Um, and then we have our AI underlying at $27 with that max price of $31. We are about $4 away from that. Our total weekly call value is negative 63K. We have AMDY. Uh, it was closed at 2087, uh, which is interesting. It shows the NAV uh, at 2077, so that's seven cent difference. But uh, then we have AMD at 165.69 with the max strike price of 190. But again, remember on that 190, um, we only have about 130 shares. So uh, our bigger ones are 185 and 187. So we're about $20 away. But our weekly call value so far is negative 230K. Then we have AMZ here at a price of 22.12. And Amazon at 167 with the max strike price of 175, which is where most of the contracts are there at 2000. Of course, we have 172.50 at 925 contracts, but 
Um, we're roughly, what, five to eight dollars away from those strikes right now. Um, and our weekly call value so far is negative 90K for AMZ. If we go into Apley, we're at 1797. And just to point out, it says the NAV here is 1805. So that's eight cent difference. Um, for Apple, the price is 181.56 with that max strike price and only strike price of 185 for that weekly call, uh, which is almost $3.50 from there. And then our weekly call value so far is negative about 168,000. So moving on to Coney, which I know that'll be covered more tomorrow. Um, but here we still, let's see, Coney is 2264. Um, and coin itself went down to 173.30. Has still has that max strike price of 205 with a difference of 31 dollars. Wow. Uh, right now our weekly call value is negative 1.4 mil. So then we have Dizzo. We have 2212. Disney is at 109 with the max strike price of 115. Of course, if we look over here, we have 113, 114, 115, about two or 300 contracts apiece. And our weekly call value on that one's only like negative 7,000, so that's not bad compared to some of the others. Of course, I don't have percentages on here. Uh, and then we have uh, FBY and Meta. Uh, FBY is uh, 2250 a share, and its NAV is 2266 with a difference of 16 cents. And we have Meta at 471 with that max strike price of 500, but that one was only at 30 contracts. So it looks like looking at this, we have three different weekly prices, 480, 485, 500. Of course, 485 has our most contracts, uh, which was 600. And for that 485, well, let's just look at the 480. So we're about eight dollars from that one. So we're about eight, thirteen, and about twenty-eight from that last one there. Um, and then we have our weekly call value of about a um, negative one fifty-eight k. So going on to GUI, it was at sixteen eighty-four close today. Google Google price was one forty-one, and the max strike strike price of 146 but if we look over we have 144 145 and 146 we have uh, 800 contracts at the 145 and 146 um, so we're like four or five dollars away from that we're at like a negative 49k for the weekly call value JPMO here uh, we have at twenty dollars and 72 cents close today with JPM at 179.73 um, we do have the max strike price at 182.50 with 280 contracts, but we also have a strike price at 180 for 150 contracts. So uh, let's see. My eyes are getting crossed here. So we're looking at just from that first strike price at 180. We're only a few cents away from that. Uh, that's what 27 cents. And then for our other one that has a little bit more contracts on it, uh, we're almost three dollars from that one. Uh, but we're looking at a weekly call value of only negative 31k so far. Then we have Marnie, MRNY at 1804. And then we have Moderna at 8699. Um, I saw alerts on that today around that 87 mark most of the day. But uh, then we have our max strike price and only strike price of $98 at 2,080 shares. Our weekly call value so far is negative 177K. MSFO, we have $22.13. The uh, Microsoft price is 402.79. And then we have the max strike price is 415, which has 400 contracts, but we also have a $412.50. Uh, weekly calls with 420 shares or contracts there. So uh, let's say 402. So we are 10 to $13 away from those two strike prices. And our weekly call value on those is about negative 65K. Then we have Nefli uh, at 1826 with our NAV only at 1815. 
Uh, Netflix itself is at five seventy five thirteen, with our max strike price is six hundred and five at five hundred and five contracts, which is um, the most amount of contracts we have for that strike price. But we also have that new. I believe this one was one of our new ones today at five eighty five for twenty five contracts. Uh, so that gets us for that one. We're ten dollars away from that strike price, and we're about thirty dollars away. Um, from that larger strike price and larger amount of shares. Uh, for Nephilim, we are negative 39K for our weekly call value. Whew. And we go down here to NVIDIA and we have um, $25.09 a share. And NVIDIA was under 700 today, so it, but it actually closed up some compared to what I had seen it at earlier. So it closed at 694.52. It has a max and only one strike price of 820 for 2,635 shares. Uh, so we're at a difference of $125. Man, that's a, that's, a, that's a big difference right there. And we have our weekly call value of negative 1.8 million. All right, let's move on to OARC. I know we have somebody in the Discord uh, that's been asking about OARC, so... Um, he also commented on YouTube, appreciate covering this one. Um, but to cover, let's see, we have OARC. We have it right under $13 at $12.96. And then we have ARC itself at $48.69. And it's only weekly strike price is $52.50 at 13,685 shares or contracts. That's it's a lot of contracts, but it's been around a while, so it's been built up. Um, but anyway, we're almost $4 away from that, $3.81 to be exact. With our weekly call value is only um, negative 54K, so I guess that's not too bad. I should probably put a percentage in here somewhere, a percentage to the value to their net assets or something. I don't know. Y'all can let me know if you want it or not. I can always add that in there. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're just looking at numbers and you don't really have a comparison to compare each of them to each other. Uh, but sometimes I get too carried away and I can make tons of stuff and then later I don't even remember why I did something. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I love building spreadsheets. But we'll move on here to PayPal. Uh, and if I would call that anything, personally, I'm going to call that PayPay. I'm not going to call that P-E-E-P-E-E. -E -E -P -E -E. Um, but I would call it pay pay or PYPY. -Py. But uh, that was at $17.88. And then we had PayPal. Uh, strike price today was down to $58.63. So our max strike price is $61. But if we look over here, that $61 is only for 75 shares. So um, our biggest one is the $60 strike price, 1,585 contracts. So if we have 58, we're only at about a dollar and 40 cents from that one, and we're about 240 uh, from the other one, roughly. And we're looking at our weekly call value of negative 62K so far. Ooh, and then we have SQY at $20.58. And then Square itself, or, or actually, sorry, Block. I see SQ and I think square, but block itself is sixty five seventy three, with the max and only strike price of seventy six dollars for five thousand three hundred contracts. Um, that gives us a difference of about it gives us about ten dollars and twenty seven cents between uh, this block price and our strike price. Uh, we'll see how that goes this week with earnings. Uh, so far, we have the weekly call value is six hundred and negative six hundred and sixteen k. Sorry. Um, then we have Tesla, of course. Uh, retire on dividends. We'll cover that more in detail tomorrow. Uh, but we have a straight price. I mean, sorry, we have Tesla's price at nine dollars and two cents. Tesla is down to one ninety three seventy six. Um, let's see. We have only that one weekly call there at $200 because we have two different uh, strike prices for our synthetics there. Um, so interesting. But yeah, here it looks like we only have one weekly call 
$200 strike price at 42,000 contracts. Our, uh, well, let's look, go back over here. We're $6.24 away from that. Uh, we'll probably be okay with that strike price this week, I'm, I'm guessing. But anyway, um, weekly call value here, we're at about a negative $7 million so far. And if we go on to Zomo, we have $17.29. And Zomo's price today is down to one hundred two seventy five. If I remember correctly, this morning uh, when I went over these, we were maxed out based on the close price last week. But if any of you are following this morning, the stock market dropped and was negative all day, I'm pretty sure. I, don't, I didn't see closing, but... Um, so anyway, this price did drop a little bit, so now we're no longer maxed out, but we are only 25 cents away from maxing out. So that, uh, that price isn't going to move too much on Zomo, but we have a negative 95 K there. And then we have our, uh, YMAG and our YMAX. I did change some of the things on the side there, uh, which then if, uh, I know this morning I, said I had to fix a couple of formulas. I think it was that one down there. And at these max strike prices, some of them were coming across for the synthetic. So I did change those on the left-hand side too. Um, I wanted to do that. And then I just wanted to mention uh, the earnings for this week. So if everybody doesn't know, NVIDIA is closed tomorrow after close. Um, that one right there, if it's bad, it's going to be bad for the entire market from what I understand. And then before open on Thursday, we have Moderna and then we have Block Thursday afternoon. Um, and then I just have to go back and check. I don't know if we have any others reporting. I think we might have one, if not two, reported in March. But I have to go back to my earnings um, sheet and verify. But anyway, I hope all this was helpful. Um, if I ever take the time to try to learn how to put chapters in here, uh, I could put chapters for like the holdings and intraday holds. But um, I know most of you probably, if, especially if you'd already seen this morning's video, you just want to look at those intraday trades and then you could drop off after that. But if you stayed on, I appreciate it. Um, let me know if any of this was helpful because... Um, you know, if it's not, then I won't make the content, but I decided to um, try the intraday trades um, along with uh, re going over the holdings and just showing what was new versus what we were just adding to. But anyway, I hope you all have a good day and uh, we'll see how NVIDIA's earnings go tomorrow. Talk to you all later. Bye.